While some reptiles are more wholesome than they look and actually make pretty good pets, some are just as dangerous as they look, and that's very. Because reptiles look a bit like dragons. These are the most dangerous reptiles in the world. Number 15. Nile Crocodile Nile crocodiles are large crocodilians native to African freshwater habitats. You can find them in about 26 countries, but mostly around sub-Saharan Africa and in lakes, rivers, marshlands, and swamps. They can grow up to about 16.4 feet long and weigh up to 1,650 pounds, so you wouldn't exactly call them small. They also pair this size with heavily armored skin that makes them incredibly difficult to win a fight against. It's almost like they know they're hard to beat, too, because they are super aggressive. Nile crocodiles are apex predators who aren't typically fussy about what they eat. They will consume fish, birds, reptiles, mammals, and anything that comes their way. And how they attack is truly quite horrifying. They wait for the prey to come within range, then deliver a mighty bite with sharp, conical teeth that deliver a tremendous amount of grip. They can then force them underwater to drown them. Job done just like that. Both saltwater crocs and Nile crocs are responsible for most attacks on humans, but you may be more at risk of a Nile crocodile given their propensity to live closer to human populations. Even a small crocodile at six feet long is capable of overwhelming small adults and children. But most attacks are Nile crocodiles measuring over nine feet in length. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Gila Monster The Gila Monster is a 20-inch, 4-pound carnivorous reptile that lives in the deserts of northwestern Mexico and the southwestern United States. They have black bodies covered in pink, orange, and yellow patterns and get their name from the Gila River Basin in Arizona where they were first discovered. Now, you might be wondering why they're called Gila monsters when they don't really look that scary. Unless you have herpetophobia, of course. Well, they are one of only a few known lizards in the world that are venomous. They share this trait with monitor lizards, Mexican beaded lizards, and iguanas. Fortunately, their venom is relatively mild as far as venom goes, but that doesn't mean you'll be smiling when you get bitten by one. Their bite is painful. These mean little critters latch onto your skin and actually try to chew so that the neurotoxins in their bodies can move through the grooves in their teeth and into your open wound. At least snakes have the decency to bite down quickly and usually just once, but these monsters chew. Stay away from them if you know what's good for you. Number 13. Snapping Turtle when a reptile is noted as having snapping in its name, you can pretty much guarantee that's not going to be a good thing. Are they angry? Do they want to bite you? Well, probably a bit of both in the case of snapping turtles. Depending on the country in which they're found, snapping turtles can be a bit of a pest species, and there have been plenty of reports of bites. After hissing, they can chomp down on whoever's making them feel threatened. Snapping turtles are freshwater turtles with a natural range from southeastern Canada to the Rocky Mountains and through Florida. However, they've also been found in Italy and Japan, mainly introduced to the natural environment when released as unwanted pets. In most environments, snapping turtles are at the top of the food chain, which means they have quite a bit of confidence and less fear. If they see a human for the first time, they're likely to be curious rather than fearful. Their jaws are powerful enough to bite off human fingers and toes, though, so I wouldn't get too close to them if I were you. Number 12. Mexican Beaded Lizard Mexican beaded lizards are one of two venomous beaded lizards you'll find in southern Guatemala and Mexico. They are larger than the Gila monster and tend to have much duller colors, including yellow and black. 
Mexican beaded lizards grow up to about 36 inches long and weigh about 1.8 pounds, although some have been known to tip the scales at over 4 pounds, if not heavier. They are stocky, have broad heads and short tails, and store fat in their tails to survive the winter months when food is scarce. You'll be pleased to know that humans aren't on the menu, but it's important to note that they are venomous, which means you probably shouldn't annoy them too much. Like Gila monsters, they hang on to their victims and chew to ensure their venomous saliva gets into the open wound. Fortunately, their venom is weak and human deaths are rare. Notice how we said rare? Yeah, not impossible. Their venom can cause respiratory failure. The good news is their venom does have some use in the medical world. It has several valuable enzymes that may be useful for diabetes treatments. Number 11. Reticulated Python Reticulated pythons from Southeast and South Asia are the longest in the world at up to about 21 feet long. They are also among the three heaviest snakes in the world as well. They are excellent swimmers, non-venomous, and even prove popular as pets. So we're basically painting a picture here of reticulated pythons being gentle giants. Yeah, I'm here to dispel that rumor, because the long list of human deaths actually makes them one of the most dangerous reptiles in the world. They don't prey on humans, but that doesn't stop them from being responsible for several human fatalities in the wild and captivity. In 2020, a 15-year-old Indonesian boy was attacked and killed by a python measuring 23 feet in southwest Sulawesi at Mount Kahar. He became separated from his friends in the forest and was found with a python wrapped around him. He suffocated before villagers were able to kill the snake. In 2018, a 54-year-old Indonesian woman was killed and eaten by a 23-foot python in her own garden. The python was found nearby with a prominent bulge. There have been several cases like these, but we don't want to put you off your dinner. Number 10. Fertile Ants Fertile Ants is the name given to several snake varieties, also known as pit vipers. Fair to lance means spearhead, and that's how you can typically describe all those snakes within the genus Bothrops. This species can climb and swim, and you'll often find it living in plantations and even run down houses. Its preference for mice and rats means that it usually ends up living in proximity to humans. This isn't really a good thing because if you accidentally disturb one, it can defend itself and viciously. It's considered the most dangerous snake in South and Central America and is supposedly responsible for more human deaths than any other American reptile. One fair to lance in particular is more terrifying than most others, the Bothrops Asper. It's highly venomous and lives from southern Mexico to northern South America. Here it lives near human habitations in lowland environments. In Costa Rica, it's responsible for almost half of all snake bites and a little under a third of all hospitalized cases. The fatality rate for this snake's bite used to be at about 9%, but it's down to almost 0% in this area. That's not to say that's the case everywhere, and people still die. In fact, experienced herpetologist Douglas March died after being bitten by a Bothrops asper. Number 9. Black Mamba if there's one snake species that leaves me shook every time I hear about it, it's the black mamba. This snake from sub-Saharan Africa is highly venomous and is also the second longest venomous snake after the king cobra. It can grow up to over 14 feet long. Typically, it preys on small mammals and birds in woodland, savanna, and dense forest areas, but humans are not exempt from their attack efforts. They open their mouths, spread their neck flaps, and hiss. This is a type of warning before they start delivering several bites in quick succession. As their venom mainly consists of neurotoxins, you can feel symptoms within just minutes. Unless you receive antivenom quickly, you can die from a black mamba bite. There is some good news, though. Even though they have been described as highly aggressive, they mostly won't attack without cause. Typically, it's just when they're feeling under threat or cornered. 
so we don't recommend doing that. Once you're bitten, your eyelids will start drooping before your vision goes blurred and you begin experiencing drowsiness and a loss of consciousness. Eventually, you'll suffer respiratory paralysis and finally respiratory failure before cardiovascular collapse and death. The entire process can take up to 15 hours, so antivenom is really important. Number 8. Komodo Dragon you know, if there's one lizard I just can't warm up to, it's the Komodo dragon. It's almost like everything they do is rude and questionable. These large critters are members of the monitor lizard family, grow up to about 10 feet long, and weigh about 150 pounds. They're known as apex predators, which means they rule the roost wherever they live. They hunt mammals, invertebrates, and birds, and have a nasty bite. It's only been in recent years that we've learned more about their venom. University of Melbourne researchers came to the conclusion that when bitten by Komodo dragons, spotted tree monitors, and lace monitors, you can expect rapid swelling, localized blood clotting disruption, and severe shooting pain with symptoms that last several hours. It doesn't appear that these symptoms are life-threatening that we know of. But it's not just their venom that makes them dangerous, they are cannibals. Young Komodos have to spend the first few years of their lives in trees just to try to protect themselves from other species and their own kind. A Komodo dragon's diet is 10% Komodo dragon babies. Imagine eating your children, it's horrifying. Number 7. King Cobra even seeing pictures and video footage of King Cobras gives me the heebie-jeebies. They are venomous snakes from Southern and Southeast Asia and are the world's longest venomous snakes. They grow up to about 13 feet long, but have been known to reach 19 feet. But it's not just their size that makes them quite scary, it's their venom and attack methods. When they're feeling under threat, they raise their head upright, spread out their neck flap, and start puffing and hissing. It's really quite terrifying. And that's before they strike their target and inject vast amounts of venom into your body. If that happens, you'll need to race to your nearest hospital. Their venom can quickly start affecting your central nervous system, so you can experience pain, blurred vision, drowsiness, vertigo, and paralysis. If the bite was serious enough, these symptoms could lead to cardiovascular collapse, a coma, and death due to respiratory failure. So you're probably not going to have a good time when bitten by a king cobra. Untreated, there's a 50 to 60 percent fatality rate. Number 6. Saltwater Crocodile Some of the most dangerous reptiles in the world are indeed snakes, but let's not forget how dangerous the saltwater crocodile can be, too. They can grow up to 21 feet long and weigh 2,900 pounds, and they're not afraid to show anyone just how fierce they can be. Saltwater crocodiles live from India all the way to Australia and Micronesia. They are the largest living reptile known to science and are considered hypercarnivorous apex predators. They ambush their prey, drown it, then swallow it whole. They also aren't fussy. They'll dine on sharks, fish, reptiles, birds, mammals, and even humans. If it's food-like, it's worth eating, according to the saltwater crocodile. And the news just gets worse for us. They have the strongest bite of any living animal, with a 15.1 foot croc in a lab setting measuring 3,690 pounds bite force. That's way more than the American alligator in similar circumstances. Out of all crocodilians, saltwater crocs and Nile crocs are more likely to treat humans as prey. Saltwater crocs have an abysmal track record of human attacks, and there are at least one or two fatalities each year. In Australia, from 1971 to 2013, there were 106 fatal attacks. Number 5. Inland Taipan Want to know what the most venomous snake in the world is? It's the Inland Taipan, even more so than sea snakes, which aren't exactly known for their friendly manner. 
Inland taipans live in Central East Australia and have the most toxic venom of any reptile when tested on human heart cell culture. The venom in a single inland taipan bite is enough to kill 100 adult humans. It also doesn't help that they're fast, agile, and can strike with venom in every bite multiple times. If an inland taipan bites you, you likely won't stand a chance without medical intervention. There is some good news, though. They don't tend to live where people do, and they would prefer to escape a challenging situation rather than put themselves into one. So unless you really want to be bitten by an inland taipan, the likelihood is low. Low, but not zero. A teenage boy had his finger bitten by one in Curry Curry, New South Wales, Australia. Fortunately, he quickly applied a compression bandage above the wound and was able to access antivenom quickly. The snake was over 600 miles from where it should have been, so it was most likely stolen to become an illegal pet. Number 4. Florida Soft Shell Turtle most people would rather have an altercation with a Florida soft-shell turtle than, say, a black mamba or inland taipan. But that's not to say that they're entirely innocent and incapable of harming humans. They have long necks and powerful jaws, not to mention wickedly sharp clawed feet. Their strength with their assets makes them dangerous if you handle them carelessly, so we wouldn't recommend doing that. But aside from those things, Florida soft-shell turtles aren't typically out to get you. They are native to the southeastern United States and are mostly found in the state of Florida, hence the name. Although it's not uncommon to discover them in Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina. They live in fresh water and some brackish environments and prefer slow-moving and still water. Rivers, creeks, ponds, lakes, marshes, and swamps are their preference, but you may also spot them in human-made ditches and even sinkholes. Florida soft-shell turtles grow up to about 30 inches long and up to 15 pounds. However, there have been examples of huge ones weighing as much as 96 pounds. You wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of one of them. Number 3. Matamata Turtle Okay, so the Matamata turtle isn't exactly dangerous, but it's pretty terrifying due to its looks. It's definitely unlike most other turtle species you've seen before. Matamata turtles are freshwater turtles from South America. Mostly, you'll find them around the Amazon and Orinoco basins. They were first described as giant land turtles with spiky, ridged scales, and that's a pretty good description. They have weirdly shaped, large, triangular, and flattened heads, and these have flaps of skin and a horn on their long, tubular snout. Around the chin, you'll also notice three barbels, along with four more on the upper jaw. All the ridges on their bodies are supposed to help them look like large pieces of bark, which can camouflage them from possible predators. So you'll find that most adult turtles' necks, heads, tails, and limbs are grayish-brown in color. Matamata turtles tend to live in stag stagnant pools, swamps, marshes, and blackwater streams from northern Bolivia all the way to central Brazil. They are strictly aquatic creatures, but you'll find them in shallow water with their snouts at the surface so they can breathe. Number 2. Leatherback Sea Turtle Leatherback sea turtles wouldn't be high on my list of dangerous reptiles, but as it turns out, they are capable of attacking humans, usually in bizarre circumstances, though. These giant turtles that reach over 8 feet long and 2,000 pounds are capable of delivering a bone-crushing bite if made to do so. They're gentle giants in most situations, but not if they believe you're a threat. In one situation, a small boat and its occupants were minding their own business when a leatherback sea turtle charged at it. A shark had just chased it, so it was probably on high alert, thinking the boat was out to get it as well. So that's fair enough. What you'll mostly find, though, is that they pretty much just live their own life away from us. They are a non-crocodilian reptile with leather-like, oily, flexible skin rather than a hard, bony shell. They have tear-shaped bodies, powerful front flippers, and they live in a variety of locations around the world, like Alaska, Norway, and the southernmost tip of New Zealand. Number 1. Saw-Scaled Viper it's all in the name, really. 
When something's called Saw Scaled Viper, it's not something you want to get too close to. It just sounds dangerous. And it is. The Saw Scaled Viper is a venomous snake found in the driest parts of Sri Lanka, Pakistan, India, the Middle East, and Africa. They produce a sizzling warning sound before they attack, and their species is responsible for the most snake bites and deaths in the world. They're pretty small snakes, grown up to about 35 inches, and have small, short heads with short, rounded snouts. Their eyes are large, and they have slender bodies with mostly keeled dorsal scales. This description will surely help you avoid them because you really don't want to get too close. They are highly aggressive and can strike from above. Their venom can also cause horrific symptoms that last for days before the victim finally dies. Unless, of course, you have access to anti-venom. You can experience bleeding from anywhere in the body, followed by chest pain, shortness of breath, problem speaking, and big balloon head. Most people tend to be bitten by these snakes after dark when they are extremely hard to see. Reptiles aren't most people's favorite animals in the world, but they're probably way down the list after cats and dogs now. Have you seen any of these reptiles in person? Do they terrify you? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!